सो वेलकम बैक दिस इज अ गेट 2006 क्वेश्चन एंड इट इज फॉर टू मार्क्स लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज फॉल्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू रिलेटिव एड्रेसिंग मोड फर्स्ट वन इज इट एनेबल्स रिड्यूस्ड इंस्ट्रक्शन साइज ऑब्वियसली दिस वन इज ट्रू बिकॉज रिलेटिव एड्रेसेस विल बी शॉर्टर देन एब्सोल्यूट एड्रेसेस सो इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग द एब्सोल्यूट एड्रेस जस्ट राइट अ रिलेटिव वन बिकॉज से यू हैव अ मेमरी वेरी लार्ज मेमरी मे बी अराउंड वन टेराबाइट One TB memory means a forty bit relative address. Okay, and a program may be of say few hundred lines only. So instead of specifying this forty bit relative address, use PC relative addresses because you just need to specify how far is your required address from the current instruction. Okay, or you can even use a register relative instead of PC relative. anyways this one is true next is it allows the indexing of array elements within same with same instruction yeah this can be done it's true how the offset can be relative to the base address say this is your array whatever beats base address example 5040 whatever this is the relative address no all these indexes are relative addresses relative to this base position so we can use this also so b part is true let's see c part it enables easy relocation of data yeah that's true that's where we use this relative addressing because you can save the base address of program in a register and relative to that base address you can specify each and every address so that way relocation becomes easy relocation of program becomes very easy i'll i'll explain in a bit detail what i'm saying first of all relocation of data means when operating system decides to move your program in ram now to compensate that shift you need to change the addresses in their program say you have uh, used some go to instructions for example somewhere in your program you have written go to uh, first of all let's see the base address base address is 100 and on the line number 101 you have written go to 103 that means you are trying to skip this second instruction and you are directly going to instruction number 103 okay but what if the operating system decides to shift this program somewhere else now this line is no longer line number 103 For example, your OS decides to put this on line number five hundred. So to skip this line, writing go to one hundred three won't work now, because here you need to write go to five hundred three. That way, every time the program gets loaded into RAM, you need to know the base address of program. But a better solution is using relative addresses. so you just specify the relative address of this line relative address relative to the base 0 1 2 3 you just say go to 3 in relative addressing mode now the processor will automatically add the base address that is 100 in this case to the relative address which you have specified as 3 to get 103 even if base address is 500 you'll uh, the processor will add 500 and this relative address 3 to get 503 it will work for whatever base address obviously it should na because 0 1 2 3 this line is three instructions away from whatever the base address is okay so this one is also true only remaining option is d so it must be false let's read what it says uh, it enables faster address calculation than absolute addressing no it's not possible absolute addressing means the instruction itself provides the absolute address or the instruction itself provides the 
exact address where to look for in memory you don't need to perform any calculations for getting the address so absolute address or effective effective address or absolute address is present within the instruction you don't have to look for the address but in relative you need to calculate the address because addresses in relative are given relative to some position so actual address or effective address need to be calculated even if you have some like some specific hardware to for to perform this calculation still it won't be as fast as absolute because in absolute there's nothing to be done okay so answer is this d part